Welcome to WISIS Forum 2018. My next guest is Maya Manuela Katrina. She is Secretary of State at the Ministry of Communication and Information Society of Romania. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having us here. So, uh, Ms. Katrina, to start with, could you tell us about the ICT's initiatives in Romania to deliver the SDGs? Actually, there are a lot, but I will want to speak about a new one that is very important of, of us, for us, and it's in the field of education. So, starting this year, every kid that is 10 years old will have mandatory uh, uh, computer science classes at school from the age of 10 till the age of 18. And uh, for us, uh, this is important because we also uh, are very involved in the curricula. So we make the curricula um, the right one for delivering the skills that the industry uh, use, not only in ICT, but also in other fields, uh, because uh, we are not only preparing uh, computer scientists, but comp uh, digital skills for every, every field. And we also uh, included, starting this year, um, uh, cyber security notions and cyber, secu and, uh, cyber hygiene uh, notions for the young kids because we believe that the only way to build a safe internet around. But I'm sure otherwise you have a lot of other, I other uh, initiatives about broadband, about, uh, about uh, cyber security, this type of things. But mainly I think education is one of the focal point for us now. So I understand it's the first time you are attending WISIS yes. Forum. So how are you finding it so far? It's very vivid. It's a quite interesting environment. Uh, I like to see how different and beautiful you are together. Usually uh, in this type of uh, field, you have the very technical discussions where everybody's on the topic, uh, speaking about documents, speaking about uh, some measures. But this type of uh, open forum where all the stakeholders are on the table, or the academia, the private sector, the NGOs and the decision maker, uh, make it very interesting. And being in that big room, have watching from the, from the scene, everybody, it feels like we are uh, just a wonderful world. <laughs> ICTs remain a male-dominated uh, world. So as a woman uh, in this sector, can you tell me about the role of ICTs for, for inclusion. How has it helped you, for instance? Uh, when I start ICT, uh, it was very often that I was the only woman in the room. But now things change. Uh, I must say in my home country, a lot of young women study science w because we never told that we shouldn't do it because we are women. Uh, so we have a, a large amount of, uh, around more than 30% of the people that work in ICT are women. This is a fortunate, uh, a fortunate position, I know. And also the gap uh, between the, the salaries between women and men is, I think, the lowest in Europe in this field. Uh, but it's not enough. We want to have more women because I think we cannot um, accept to lose 50% of the talents uh, and let them behind. I also think ICT is a good um, a social elevator for people that are in, let's say, not so fortunate areas. Through ICT, they can get a better job, a better position, and they can change their social st status. So I really believe uh, teaching ICTs to all the kids, and especially women. <laughs> Maya Manuela Katrina, thank you very much. Thank you.